Hi, this is John from BetterThanYourself.com, and today I want to talk to you about kombucha mothers. You see a lot of videos here on YouTube about making your own kombucha and brewing kombucha and how delicious kombucha is and that you should be drinking kombucha and making your own kombucha at home. And they all tell you just to take some sweetened tea and add a kombucha mother and you can be well on your way to making your own kombucha. The problem I find is where to find a kombucha mother. So today I want to talk about kombucha mothers and making your own. It's actually quite simple to make a kombucha mother. What you'll need is just a little bit of tea and a starter. You always have to start with something. Best thing to use is a reliable source of kombucha with active ingredients. This is a raw kombucha, meaning it hasn't been pasteurized and all of the good bacteria killed. So we're going to mix this together with some tea that it can use as a food. It will ferment the tea that we add to it and in the process create a mother. So let's start. We'll take an entire jar of this. Looks like it's very active. You can see the fizz. It's got active bacteria. And then we'll add an equal amount of sweetened tea. What we want to do next is just cover this kombucha mixture with a simple tea towel and a rubber band. We'll go ahead and rubber band that onto the top to keep any bugs and flies out. Now that we've got the, our jar closed up, and before we put it away, I like to mark it with a date. You can use a gold-colored Sharpie to uh, mark right on the glass, and that makes it easy to keep track of what you've got in what jars. So we'll go ahead and mark this with today's date. and go ahead and get this in a warm, dark place. About 70 to 80 degrees is really best for kombucha, but room temperature is fine. If you've got some way to get your temperature around 80 degrees, that will be optimal. It'll speed the process up. I'm gonna put it in, my house is about 70 degrees, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, probably about a week or two. We'll check back then. It's been two weeks, and if we take the lid off our kombucha jar here, we have success. We have the beginnings of a mother it's just started and this is the indication that we've got the bacterial action that we need to make kombucha so let's get this into a jar of sweet tea and put it someplace warm and we can begin fermenting so here I've got one of my anchor hocking gallon jars we'll add the tea with our bacteria culture in it. This is my usual recipe here. I've got a gallon of water, 10 tea bags, and a cup of white sugar. I've let this cool so I don't harm the bacteria. And we'll go ahead and cover this up and let it ferment again. This is a nice fermenting accessory I've found. It's a seed heat mat and it raises the temperature of anything that you put on it about 10 degrees so if the kitchen's 70 degrees this will get your kombucha up to 80 degrees perfect for fermenting I'll go ahead and put the fermented fermenter jar on here just like this other one from last week and let that sit for a week and it will ferment and make more delicious kombucha so here's my fermenting setup I've got my fermenting mat my ceiling pad um, the fermenting jars and the cloth cover to keep the the flies out you want to make sure you've got a good air circulation over top of the jars you don't want to seal them off entirely and then you want to keep those jars at about 70 to 80 degrees a little above room temperature is optimal I've got two jars here uh, offset by a week I make kombucha every weekend and each jar ferments for two weeks and then I alternate which jar I'm, I'm emptying and refilling with the sweet tea. In these next couple of pictures I'll take you on a little tour of the um, process and what you can see here is the, the scoby growing. It slowly starts out as just a thin little nothing but over the course of the week you can see the, the cellulose mat start to get thicker and thicker and um, take more and more shape, it get, becomes denser and denser, 
as you're making your kombucha, what you'll want to do is every couple of days, give it a taste. Stick a, a little glass down there and scoop out a little bit of your tea and give it a sip and see how it tastes. Once it tastes like kombucha, you know that you're done. And then you can go ahead and save your SCOBY, refill with sweet tea, and start the process again. Happy brewing!